Welcome to your HPZ 3D camera. We want your first scan to be a success. And your own shoe is a great place to start. Athletic shoes scan easiest. Got one? Good. Our first step is slam fusion. This process combines technologies to reconstruct an object's surface in 3D, while also tracking its features to distinguish and remove non-rigid elements, like fingers and hands. To start, set the object on the mat in a stable position, ideally with its largest surface facing the camera. The green circle means you're ready to scan. To begin scanning, click the camera icon. Hold the object from its sides and underneath. Now continue rotating degrees to capture more surfaces, shifting your hands to keep traces of them from appearing in your scan. The on-screen mesh will fill in to show your progress. Keep tilting and rotating until you've captured the entire object. Just like any new creative tool, the more you use it, the more you'll develop new techniques and strategies for scanning. And don't worry, even the most experienced users can run into challenges. Tracking lost means the camera is having a hard time following the object. Simply set object down facing a previously scanned area until tracking recovers. A slowdown message appears when you rotate an object too quickly. Slow down to prevent tracking loss. Seeing traces of fingers or hands? To remove digital residue, oversample the area until proper geometry is captured. If you keep getting scan errors, you may need to cancel or try another object. Once geometry is complete, it's time to move on to the photo texture capture. Step two in creating your 3D model is photo texture capture. Notice, your on-screen mesh is now monochromatic. Simply use the camera icon to snap photos of the various sides and surfaces on the object. With each picture you take, the matching area on the 3D mesh colors in. To view your photos, just go to the left menu. Like any good photographer, you'll want to continually check the quality of your images. Remember, blurry or noisy images can produce distorted textures. Make sure your hands or fingers are not obscuring the object's texture and avoid low-level lighting or strong directional lighting for the best results. If any of your images appear less than ideal, simply delete and take another. Once the 3D mesh is completely coloured in and you're happy with the quality of your images, it's time to finalise your scan. Now let's finalise your scan and see your 3D object come together. Mesh construction automatically finalises the 3D geometry you've captured and fills in any areas missed during the slam fusion process. Photo alignment projects the 2D images you've taken into UV space, matching every single pixel to create realistic textures. Physically based rendering simulates the effects of natural real-world lighting on the object surface. Integrated algorithmic substance B2M functionality generates multiple utility maps that include the base color diffuse map, the normal map to mimic high-res details without adding geometry, roughness to control glossiness, and the metallic map to control the appearance of metal and non-metal surfaces on your object. Finished fine-tuning your scan? You're ready to export. Ready to share or bring your object into your workflow? Let's export your 3D scan. With multiple options available, exporting and sharing files is easy. You can save your scan as an OVJ, a standard 3D file format, a GLTF and GLB file format, or a 3MF file to bring it into the Windows ecosystem. You can also export into apps like ZBrush, Substance Painter and Adobe Dimension, or share to HB Stage and Sketchfab. And just like that, the physical and digital world become one. So, what will you scan next? The world is full of objects, but not all are scannable. You just need to know what to look for. Bigger objects give you more to work with, but if something is too large, things can get unruly. The most successful scannables are just the right size. Objects with asymmetrical proportions and ample volume track the best. Solid objects scan easier since they won't shift or flop around. Matte surfaces and textures read better than shiny, glossy or reflective things. Objects with random and distinctive 2D textures are easier to scan than ones with repetitive or minimal 2D texture. And the more see-through something is, the harder it is for the camera to recognise. Unsure if something will scan? The best way to find out is to give it a shot. You may just surprise yourself. 
keep a lookout for more scannables and be sure to share what works with the Sketchfab community. There's a whole world to scan. Let's get started.